One of Zimbabwe's most celebrated technopreneurs, Max Wachikumbuzo, has once again come up with a masterstroke innovation, and this time it is an embedded wireless power generator that uses radio frequency to power a television set. Chikumbuzo demonstrated his latest innovation to a ZBC News crew at his base in Harare, whereby a TV does not need the electricity connection for it to function. Uh, this is our self-powered TV that we have uh, designed, the first in the world to have such kind of a technology where a television is powered with a radio frequency. So as you can see right now I'm powering this television. Uh, so this is the first uh, television in the world that uses self-power to say. It is all in one. You don't need to put it on electricity or on solar panel or anything. As it is, it is a complete solution. Behind the television, you can see that there is a microsonic energy device, this box. This is the device that is converting radio frequencies into pure energy. As you can see, the power of the cable was supposed to be here. On all traditional televisions, power comes here, but there's no power as you can see. The television is, it is working as it is. So in Lyman, I think this television is a, we can call it a, a self-powered television. It is indeed an exciting innovation that comes in handy for households without electricity and even so a relief to many in the event of power outages. Chikumbuso continues to fly the Zimbabwean flag high in the world of innovation and this latest offering will put the country's map at the forefront of technological transformation. Owen Mandova, ZB News, Harare. Watching this and you know that the last thing this man needs to do is let anyone buy this idea from him. Like he needs to be in full control. He needs to have like whole autonomy of his idea and his invention. So there is a fear of him getting bought out, which I have. Let me know down below if you have it, you know, they buy it and then all of a sudden it's not a black person who invented it anymore. We know how, you know, all these things go. So there is that fear. And there is also the fear of the electrical companies not going to like this idea very much because this would literally put them out of business. If radio frequency could be converted into energy and used to power a TV, the question is, what more could we use this method in powering? They're not going to like this very much, if we're being honest. Nobody's going to be needing electrical companies anymore. They are going to have to take a major L, and they are going to have to go out of business. So they're really not going to like this idea very much. And we already see a lot of people talking about protect this man. Protect this man, protect this man. There's a lot of comments talking about protect this man, like you can see on the screen. Like, I went on Instagram, and I saw this man talking about how he was poisoned. Like, what a scary world we live in. I couldn't find the comments anymore. I don't know why I did not screenshot it at the time. But this is a comment from him as well. As you can see on the screen, he says, cover me in prayers. The cabals are not happy. So this man does need like full on deck 247 protection. Like he's his life is literally in danger. And we also have to talk about the fact that not only has he invented a TV that doesn't need electricity, he also has invented a vehicle that doesn't need electricity or fuel or water or nothing like the, the the vehicle literally doesn't need anything to start moving so we are we are looking at a man who is in like serious danger so i want to bring this story to you guys you know spread the word put the story out there so more people could know about what's going on and this brings a lot of pride to the continent it brings a lot of pride to our people it brings a lot of pride to you know the zimbabweans such an invention coming out from zimbabwe really would positively put the country out there you know 
for those of you who are interested i'm going to be linking down below his website and his socials in the description if you want to check him out personally and look more into his work because he has done more than just this tv and this car and when you go on his website you're going to get all the information you need we do need to put him in our prayers because a brother does need protection and prayers like he needs a lot of it. I can't wait for his inventions, his products to hit the market because, you know, we're, we're supporting black businesses here. We're supporting our people. That's how we're moving now. We're moving now knowing that, you know, these are the people we need to be supporting. We need to we need to keep those dollars, those pounds, those nairas and, you know, where it matters, which is in our pockets, in our people's pockets. That's that's where it matters. Where we are done we are done giving other people money not anymore so i hope whatever hold they want to have on him will not prevail whatever evil they are presently plotting because we know they are plotting this obviously is not on their favor in numerous ways first of all a black man creating stuff <laughs> they don't like that they don't like that second of all is a black man creating stuff that's going to take money out of their pockets so they don't like that now times 100 they, they don't like it at all so yeah um let me know down below in the comment section what you think i am super proud of this man i'm super proud you know um it's our people doing stuff not that we haven't been doing stuff we have been but you know how they make it seem you know how they do you know how they rule to make it seem like we don't because they literally steal so i'm going to leave this one here i'll see you guys in the next one and in the comments down below let's not forget to pray 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 for this man because he does need our prayers um yeah thank you very much for watching guys do have a lovely day henry ford wanted everyone to own a car so in 1908, he invented the Model T. It ran on petrol gasoline. We have a new car we want everyone to own, and it runs on nothing. Wild, untamed ideals just collided with reality. Introducing the world's first self-powered electric vehicle. You never plug it in because it charges itself, which gives you unlimited driving range and its CO2 footprint is zero. Is the world ready for this? We're not sure. But what we do know is wherever we are going, it will take us there. The new Sayeth fully powered electric vehicle. Just turn it on and go. Sayeth, go change the world.